here at the Archie Briggs property. And I'm just gonna do a quick walk through, try to catch most of the features of the property in as short as video as I can. Let's go inside and take a look. All the windows in the house are new, including almost everything else you see. Flooring, cabinets, stairway, rock work, countertops, appliances. The roof was done nine years ago. And uh, really high quality finishes throughout. I know all of the subs that were involved with things like the cabinets, the custom finishes, countertops, everything absolutely gorgeous. This happens to be one of the most beautiful, I think, one of the most beautiful countertops. It's one of my favorite. She has a name for it, it's blood something, blood red something, but isn't that something else? So this is the view from the kitchen. One of the media areas. Uh, you can hear the water running because there's a window cracked. When that window is shut, you cannot hear the you can't hear the water at all. You can't hear any any noise from outside. Now here comes a car coming by the front. Okay, that's that's a typical type of traffic you have here. You can see there's not much going on. I'll go upstairs to the master and then I'll come back down, finish the house and then I'll show you the outside. The master bedroom upstairs. Those look like maybe 18 foot ceilings. All the beds in the house are king size beds. Give you an idea of the room size. So here's your view from the master. into the master bath. She has this uh, 
ladder down so that we can see the additional storage for the walk-in, which it goes quite a ways back. You can see all the additional storage space up there. It's pretty impressive. Now this is, this is her closet, and we also have his closet right here, which is nice, nice, comfortable man size dressing area. Now, um, you're gonna be seeing five bedrooms. The listing says four, but I'm gonna show you the fifth. This, uh, this little door right here could be walled off. This could be just solid, remove the door or keep it. And being that this is the master, what it does is it allows this bedroom to be used as a nursery or an office. So it can, it can remain connected or it could be separate. Okay, so I'm gonna come back out and go around and I'm gonna go up the stairs into the other upstairs bathrooms or bedrooms to show you all of the upstairs bedrooms. And, and it'll make more sense when you see that, that other uh, bedroom from the other side, okay? Back now in the entryway, I'm gonna show you the other rooms downstairs before I go upstairs and show you the other bedrooms upstairs. Okay, coming into the hallway here, we have a laundry room, which goes through to a very large three-car tandem garage that is also one of the ways you can get to the fifth bedroom. I'll come back to that in a minute. This is a laundry room that has also has a laundry chute. Moving down, this will be the uh, another bedroom downstairs currently being used as a separate family area, media room, easily converted to bedroom. First, let me show you this bathroom, which services potentially uh, this bedroom. So this bedroom is a very spacious downstairs bedroom, has an amazing view, um, very unique. Beautiful view, you can hear the water. Also has access to the patio outside where you can enjoy the shade in the late afternoon. Hear the water. Okay, so this room, I wanna tell you a very unique thing about it. It was designed in mind as a flex room. This wall right here behind this dresser is the door, you could, you could create a door in this room that would take you through into the other bedroom. I'll show you in a minute. Keep that in mind. I'll bring it up in uh, the video in just a minute. But remember that, that wall because that's how this bedroom becomes, um, you know, becomes a bedroom. It's the flex room now, but it could become a bedroom. And this, or it could be a, the second, a, like a second downstairs, uh, a downstairs suite main floor suite. So let's let's go ahead and go on upstairs and I'll show you rooms up, so up now here. Now standing up at the top of the stairway, uh, we have two two uh, spaces, bedrooms or office, but that's, this one being the smallest room in the house easily would fit uh, a king size bed. This is a queen sleeper. Um, so we've gone over this pretty extensively. Now, remember from the master bathroom upstairs, I told you about this door that connects to the master bath. So here we are. So that brings us right in to this additional bedroom that also has incredible lighting up here. They have a very unique roof design that allows all this sun to come in into the entire upstairs. This is a closet. It also connects to, oh, they have that locked off. That's a really huge storage area. So tons of storage there. Again, very flexible design where this could be made a wall, could be shut off, or we could turn uh, this, this into the closet for this room. Okay, these are small changes, very easy to do. Okay, before we look at the bedroom, I want to show you the bathroom that services the upstairs bedrooms. 
a really nice sauna. Very nice size, lots of room. Finishes are all top notch. Everything absolutely perfect. And again, I love how the showers, look at the view out to the rock wall. Total privacy. Double showers up here, very nice. So let's take a look at the other bedroom upstairs. Okay, this is a really nice size bedroom. It's got a great walk-in closet. Um, okay, there's the light. So really nice walk-in closet here, currently sewing area. You've got, again, views of the rock wall and the river. From all the windows. So now I'm now showing you four bedrooms, being the the media room downstairs being converted to a bedroom, very easily. Incredible upstairs bathroom. Great lighting. Now I'm going to show you the fifth bedroom. And she's just finished and is again done on a flex design. Let me take you through. There's two ways to get to this fifth bedroom. One from inside the house, you go through the garage. They have these built-in drains, by the way, that catch any uh, melt off from your cars in the winter. This is an extra deep bay in case you have a very long truck or that type of thing. And this door comes from, of course, the back of the house which could be a separate, completely private entrance to the fifth bedroom. Now, the owner, Shay, designed this room in mind as a flex space. Could be uh, an incredible uh, master suite bath. Now, remember I told you about the cabinet from the video earlier? Here, open to create master suite. The downstairs media room that had the cabinet, if that wall was cut, this is the wall you would be cutting the, the, uh, the door in. That would make that bedroom a master suite downstairs. Leave this just as it is, and you have a really nice, completely private and separate uh, suite for a nanny or you know, grandma comes to town, uh, whatever it is, but absolutely gorgeous. Got plenty of lights. See, one, two, three, three uh, skylights in here with views of the rock wall right outside the shower. You can actually see the river. The river's right there. So you've got the rock wall and a river view. So this is bedroom five, and this is a king bed, by the way. If you're wondering how big it is, I'll just try to stand back and give you one last view of this room. There are no lights on in this room. This is all natural lighting. Okay, so from here, why don't we go outside, since we're right at the door, and I'll walk you around um, a different part of the house. This goes to the river. And this is the front yard. Okay. Now there's plenty of room here if you wanted to do some type of a detached garage with a separate ADU, guest quarters, guest house. That's totally buildable here. So, um, the yard is great. It could be fenced. There are no, there are no rules against fencing, or uh, if you wanted to put a rock wall along the main road, that's all completely fine. Now this property is just over an acre, I think 1.3, and the property line is on top of that rock wall on the edge, okay, all the way, and it goes all the way down 400 feet of actual river access. So one of the things that makes this property so incredibly unique is to have that much river access. So 
So the, the whole deck and the outdoor space here is just designed for entertaining. Um, you've got built-in music, of course, all the way around. And I haven't showed you the little uh, guest uh, workspace up there. I'll show you in a second. Yes, you can fish right here, right off of your porch, and you can catch trout in this river all day long. I'm sure that we can in, uh, get all of this outdoor furniture thrown in. Absolutely perfect entertainment house. So you've got it all, land, river, no mountain view here. But I just don't feel the need for more, honestly. I don't feel the need for more. You got some kids down, way down there in the river swimming, jumping in. I'll take you all on around. And then we'll go back inside. And here's the, the bridge right here. And they just passed a, an ordinance that they're not allowed to bring big trucks, you know, like semi trucks or anything like that across this road okay now this is a little built-in storage they've got the door open just to show to show that space it's all really well done and this is one of my favorite spots of the river where this little uh little creek pours in right here just beautiful more grass area over here the other side of the house and this was a little shed when the owner bought this house they converted this into a place for the owner who is a writer a place for him to to write and to create his novels doesn't sound too bad <laughs> isn't that beautiful what a spot you could put a little bed out here Sleep out here if you like. There's some heat. Isn't that neat? Well, there you go. Let's head back inside and just take another walk through.